Hi! Hi folks! Some update on the girly main cowards of that floating circus sea shepherd. That's it kids! The floating circus! Recently in Scotland it has come to light that they've been moitering seals. Yeah! In 2011 and 2012, 898 seals were moitered in Scotland. Now, not just because they were seals, because they threatened the livelihood of salmon farmers in Scotland. So that's why they eliminated all those seals. Where's Sea Shepherd UK on this? How come they're not mounting a campaign to protect those cute little adorable seals all they want to do is eat salmon they were there first before people isn't that the argument that they give i mean sea shepherd has the damn guardians in the pacific northwest of the united states to stop the slaughter of the sea lions just because they're eating salmon what is the united kingdom doing with the money that's donated to them from the suckers in the united kingdom who fall for their line could it be because they have to divert that money to support the fugitive who happens to be on the run? You know, Pope Paul the Watson. Well, okay, let's say the money isn't going for the fugitive. Maybe they're storing the money because they have to pay for a lawsuit. Yeah! Fish and Fish, a company in Malta, recently got an approval from the courts in the United Kingdom to proceed with a lawsuit against Sea Shepherd because in 2010 the Steve Irwin under the command of the fugitive prior to being a fugitive interfered with the Maltese fishermen capturing bluefin tuna to the cost of 1 million euros and that's what they're suing them for in the UK so because of the fugitives reckless activities once again perhaps they have to store that money in Sea Shepherd UK and not have to care for or mount the campaign to save those cute little seals being murdered just because they eat salmon. See, because the fugitive comes first. Peter Patoon recently took Sea Shepherd to court in the United States for $500,000 that they owed him for the 80 gill. Take us to court. We're not paying you. Well, they go to court. And see Shepard settles. All right, we'll give you the five hundred thousand, and we'll pay for your court costs too. So prior to the court, if they had given him the five hundred thousand, they would not have to pay for the court costs. But they don't care about wasting your money from sea suckers around the world. So they're giving him the five hundred thousand plus the court costs, and in return, Peter Petun said that he's going to help block any extradition of the fugitive to Japan. <laughs> How he's going to accomplish that, I have no idea. I mentioned earlier that Sea Shepherd has a campaign in the Pacific Northwest in the United States called the Damn Guardians to protect the sea lions. And on their Facebook page, they had something that looked like this. So I left the question and I asked, does that mean sea lions do not eat salmon? They deleted the comment and then they blocked me. <laughs> It was a serious, innocent question. Based upon what they wrote, anyone would gather that they probably mean sea lions are not eating salmon. You see, they can't handle any opposition. They cannot handle any criticism. So now let's go back to our good friends, the stupid dolphins. Either they're stupid or they're selfish. But we all agree they're cute. When they capture the dolphins in Taiji, Japan, some of them are let go. When they let these smart, intelligent dolphins go, how come they don't want the other dolphins to stay out of the Taji area? After all, all of you tell us that they can communicate because they're brilliant. Alright, so if they can communicate because they're brilliant, then we have to gather that they're selfish because they're not wanting the other dolphins. So either they're selfish or they're stupid. I don't think they're selfish, I think they're stupid, and there's three good articles in reference to the ignorance of these uh, dolphins in the description, I suggest that you read it. Another lawsuit, Mr. A.D. Gill is suing Sea Shepherd for something like $3 million for what he did to the A.D. Gill by releasing it in the Southern Ocean 
to pollute this other notion. See, lawsuit after lawsuit, and sea suckers keep coughing up the money. All right, folks, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America, and God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. Ha 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 ha!